tonight in the search for Lisa Irwin. The family is reacting to these court documents that say a dog picked up on the scent of death in the home. Now we have team coverage on the search for Lisa Irwin. KCTV5's Eric Shalou is live with how this could affect the investigation. But we begin with Janine Kiesling and what the family had to say. Janine? Yeah, Brad, investigators asked a judge to seal the court documents, but that request was denied. The paperwork outlines what investigators were looking for here at the Irwin home and what prompted the massive search, a cadaver dog hit being the key. But tonight, the family says they don't think much of that. It's, um, it's nice to know that people are supporting us. It's been a week since Lisa's grandfather, Rick Irwin, was back at the Lister home where Lisa disappeared from two and a half weeks ago. I just can't thank the people of Kansas City enough. Please bring her back. Tonight, he and his wife and daughter stopped by the nightly prayer vigil and was overwhelmed by the show of support. Yeah, it's important that everybody keeps Lisa in mind here and keeps looking for her, you know, keeps praying. Got a positive result. We end up on it. Earlier today, we learned more about the exhaustive 16 hour search at the Irwin home on Wednesday. According to court records, investigators sought the warrant after an FBI cadaver dog indicated a positive hit for the scent of a deceased human being in an area of the floor in Bradley's bedroom. Could you come in? Lisa's aunt, Ashley Irwin, dismissed the hit as being anything substantial, but would not elaborate. I don't think much of it. Um, I, I know what's going on regarding that. But it's not something that I can comment on right now. The search included the property, more specifically, a garden area with portions of dirt having an appearance of being recently disturbed or overturned. In the court documents, police said previous searches of the home concentrated on the baby's bedroom and possible points of entry. But during interviews with the people involved, there was conflicting information revealed. Detectives quoted Bradley as saying she did not initially look behind the house because she was, quote, afraid of what she might find. In addition to the hundreds of scans taken inside the house, presumably so investigators could x-ray the walls and floors to see if there was anything concealed within, investigators took a comforter, blanket, and toy. Also a pair of purple shorts and Disney shirt, and several rolls of tape and a tape dispenser. We want our baby Lisa back. Regardless of what police found or didn't find, the family continues to hold out hope baby Lisa is out there somewhere. And we still always hold out hope. Yeah, I know. That's the only thing there is for us to do. As of Monday, when investigators asked for the warrant, they said they still have not found the couple's missing cell phones, but did say they have recovered enough evidence to further the progress of this investigation. We're live in the Northland. Janine Kiesling, KC, TV5 News.